Hello, I'm Arthur Denise Turney, and I want to welcome you to our Chisel, C-H-I-S-T-E-L-L.com YouTube channel. So what I'm going to do on today's show, and I thank you again for being here with us, I'm going to do a reading from my first young adult novel, and it may, I think I'm going to turn this into a series, but I'm still going to mainly focus on writing a, an adult, adult novels as well, which I should have a new one coming out very, very soon. So this is Rosetta, the talent show queen. I grew up loving Pippi Longstocking. Rosetta is spunky and bold like Pippi Longstocking. So I hope you enjoy this reading. Mama, Rosetta screamed, the ends of her two thick braids blowing up. She ran through the living room waving her report card. I did it! Linda Blade, Rosetta's mother, turned away from her painting easel. The leopard painting that she was working on was coming along beautifully. What is it, she asked. I got three A's on my report card, Rosetta screamed. Linda sprung from her chair. Well now, she grinned. Looks like you're on the right track. Her face plumped with excitement. Rosetta tried to forget the trouble that she had gotten into earlier in the school year. She wanted to forget her stay in detention for threatening to hit Jennifer Davis. She wanted to forget that forever. As she ran around the living room corner into her mother's art room, she hoped that her mother had forgotten about her school troubles too. All the studying that I did paid off, Rosetta beamed. She hugged her mother around the waist. Wait until Jennifer sees my report card. She kissed her mother's face. Then she turned and ran out of her mother's art room. She won't be able to leave me out of all the school games and keep telling everybody that I'm stupid. Rosetta, well, Linda tried. Don't you go showing off. But it was too late. Not even two minutes passed before Rosetta plopped down on the living room sofa and picked up her cell phone. She called her best friend Paulette. That's right, Rosetta exclaimed into her cell phone. I got three A's. I know I almost did as good as Jennifer. She always thinks that she's a, sm a lot smarter than everyone, Miss Honoro. She's a teacher's pet. Miss Jackson never notices me or anyone else in class, Rosetta groaned. But wait until tomorrow, Rosetta piped, grinning at her report card. I'm going to class first thing in the morning and shove my report card right in Jennifer's face. The front door swung open. As it did, bits of snow blew off the porch onto the house's front entranceway, and cold air blasted into the living room. It felt like someone had turned on an ice fan. Cincinnati, Ohio's December temperatures were at record lows. Rosetta's father, Robert Blay, smiled and waved at Rosetta while he walked through the living room into the art room where Rosetta's mother was painting. What's Rosetta in the living room talking about? He asked Linda after he greeted her with a kiss. Project demands at the marketing firm where he worked melted away. He was glad to be home. Linda chuckled at the question. Ten-year-old Rosetta was always up to something. It was hard for her mother to know what Rosetta was planning. Linda figured Rosetta made plans in her sleep. One thing was certain, Rosetta Blade, two long pigtails, going like fresh vine down the sides of her head was no one to ignore. I don't know, Linda answered. You know how that girl is. Well, she was on her cell phone saying something about a Jennifer when I walked through the front door, he paused. Isn't that the name of the girl Rosetta got put in detention over? Remember, he said to his wife, Rosetta threatened to fight that girl two months ago. He shook his head. Rosetta never got into trouble at school until that incident. He gave his wife a telling glance. I said, we find out what she's up to come dinner time. Oh, Linda sighed. Rosetta let us know soon enough. That girl can't keep a secret. She was probably on the phone talking with Paulette. She shook her head. Goodness, when those two get together. An hour later, the entire family was in the kitchen. Rosetta's oldest, older sister, Francine, sang Ariana Grand's hit song, Break Free, while she helped their mother cook a tuna casserole. As she sang, Francine rocked her head from side to side and filled the kitchen with sound. At the edge of the kitchen counter, Rosetta tossed a chef salad. Her father set the table while Rosetta's brother, Leroy, fed the family dog, a husky named Joe. Francine, Leroy, and Rosetta went to the same school, Harriet Tubman School on 5th Avenue. Leroy was in the 7th grade. Francine was in the 8th grade, three grades ahead of Rosetta. As far as Rosetta saw it, she was in the grade that all the cool kids were in, the 5th grade. Rosetta, Francine stopped singing and praying. How many times are you going to toss that salad to the lettuces and smallest crumbs? Mind your business, Rosetta snapped. Cut that fuss out and sit down and eat, Robert told his daughters. Rosetta took the salad to the table and sat down next to Leroy. He was two years older than she was. He was her favorite person in the family. Leroy had the coolest fade hairstyle, and he was a sharp dresser, rocking the coolest Dapper Dan jeans. He was so popular at school. Rosetta loved her mother and father, but they were always finding her faults and letting her know about every one of them. Sit up straight, they tell her. Stop popping that gum, her mother would fuss. Chief of them all was Rosetta Blaze. Stop rolling your eyes. 
Her parents told her that they were guiding her to become a responsible and joyous young woman. That's what they told her. But Rosetta wasn't buying it. To her, she was the kid in the family. And everybody that said Leroy picked on her. And that is from Rosetta, the talent show queen. Please get your copy of Rosetta, the talent show queen. And you can read more free excerpts at my website, C-H-I-S-T-E-L-L dot com. And hit that subscribe button and keep up with what we're doing. Writer, free writers tips, conferences, festivals, book marketing tips, advice right here at chisto.com. See you back here next week. Bye for now.